So we're here on uh, Broad Street at this rally. What's it all about? Um, so I, uh, my name's Alyssa, um, and I wanted to have this rally um, for a variety of reasons. Um, one is a response to the elections that are currently going on in America. Um, I felt that Oxford students really wanted to come together in solidarity to show our support, not only for those protesting in America, but those being feeling that they are being marginalized and targeted as a result of this election. What? this election, what this moment would want us to feel is that, you know, we have enemies that are fundamental now, we have people that we cannot trust and fundamentally, but resistance, I think, is still believing in the other, still believing in love and trust and the potential that we embody. So we also, we know that the, that Trump doesn't define us, kind of, as a, as a people. Um, he's the president, but he's not the end-all, be-all. You know, there's so many people working towards better things. One of the reasons I wanted to get involved is because these these issues that are affecting people in the States are also happening in the UK. And they're happening in France, they're happening in Holland, they're happening in Austria. There's a wave across most of the world of the rise of hate speech and hate crime. And I think it's really sad that it's taken Trump's election to get us to start coming out and speaking out about this. And basically, I just thought it was a great opportunity to get the people together, not just American students that are here, but everybody that's feeling isolated by all the recent events. The future requires us to be active. You know, passive tolerance is no longer enough. It has to be active acceptance, active understanding, active transformation. And people are organizing. You know, women are organizing. People with different abilities are organizing. Um, blacks, minorities, people of color are organizing. We're coming together. I think that's what our generation has, um, the determination to see each other and see a future. And um, this is the beginning of that. So I'm quite excited. And I'm deeply saddened sure. that this is what it took to feel like we needed to come together and work on our civil liberties and work to fight for our rights. Um, but this is unfortunately what happened and I think we do have a lot of work to do. Yeah, I want to be walking through it with my students and um, trying to trying to understand it all with them and also show what, what American values are, you know, kindness, love, peace, um, inclusion, a welcoming, like all of that, hardworking people, like that's that's the America I know. It's a very hard thing to understand, but I also believe that their voices are important too, and hearing their opinion, Trump supporters' opinions, is very important thing so that we can understand each other and have a dialogue. It says that there's many Americas. Um, it says that even though we live in um, this one time, this simultaneous reality, there's uh, a difference in array of experiences. Um, it says that we're not communicating enough with each other. It says that narratives are being uh, made binary and singular. And if we took some more time to understand, to exchange, um, that things could have been different. And I think having events like this is a grassroots way to bring people together and to get people to work with their communities. We want freedom. We want freedom. We want peace. We want peace. We want freedom. We want